Hey guys, welcome back for another tutorial. Today is number 11 of my 12 days of Christmas tutorials. And we will be making this really cute cup cozy, perfect for all of your takeout, Tim Hortons, Starbucks, cups to keep your hands from not burning off. The pattern for this will be provided for free over at my blog, which is charmedbyashley.com. That will be linked down below as well as the information icon. You can go over there, check out the materials list, download the pattern for free, print it out, and then you can meet me back here and we can get started on the tutorial. You will need cotton fabric as well as an interfacing. I will be using fusible fleece that will add an extra barrier so that your hands don't burn when you're holding your hot drink. You will also need a three quarter inch button as well as a thin elastic. So I cut out two pieces of cotton in contrasting colors and then one out of the fusible fleece. And if you want it to be even thicker, you could add a second layer of fusible fleece. I'm now going to iron the fleece onto the back of one of my pieces. So you're just going to take your fusible fleece, put it with the rough side against the wrong side of your fabric, and then use a hot dry iron to fuse the two pieces together. And then we will take the lining and the outer fabric and then place them with the right sides together. This is a really great project. You can make a ton of these at once and just have a little streamlined system going. So easy and so quick. It only takes like 10 minutes to make one. So now I will sew all the way around, but I'm going to leave a one inch opening on one of the short sides. So just take it over to the sewing machine and do a quarter of an inch seam allowance around and don't forget to leave that little opening on one of the short sides. So I hope you're enjoying the tutorial so far. If you are, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribed so you can see the rest of the 12 days of Christmas tutorials. And also if you make this, I would love to see it. Okay, so now I'm going to clip all the corners and that's gonna help make my cup cozy have nice and sharp corners when we flip it right sides out, which is what we're going to do next. When I am flipping it right sides out, I do like to have a little bit of help, so I will use either a chopstick or a knitting needle and that can help get into those corners and poke them out so they are nice and sharp. So I'm just going to finish that up and then we will press it and then we will turn the little hole that we left for turning. We're going to make those little raw edges go on the inside and then we can press that as well. So this is where we're going to put our little elastic. So now I'm going to cut my elastic. I'm going to cut about two and a half inches long. And then I'm going to fold that in half and I'm going to put the cut edges inside that little hole. So I'm just going to use a clip to hold that in place and then we will do a top stitch all the way around. And I like to use a three stitch length on my machine when I do my top stitch, but when I go over the elastic, I'm going to bring it down to maybe a 1.5 or a two. And then I'm going to do a few passes over it just to make sure that it is nice and secure. Because my elastic is really, really thin, I want to make sure that my needle does pierce it so that it does actually stay. And if I have a larger stitch length, then I could actually kind of just sew right over top of them and then they'll just slip out right after I'm done. Okay, so now I'm going to place the button and if you want or if you already have a cup on hand, you can wrap it around your cup and then just see where your elastic falls or you can just measure out two and one quarter away from the edge. That was my measurement and that was a pretty standard cup. I would say um, a large Tim Hortons cup. I'm not exactly sure 
um, the Starbucks. I don't go to Starbucks. <laughs> Um, and then yeah, so you just put your button on if you don't know how to put a button on I do have tutorials for that so you can check those out. I'll link those and Yeah, then you're done so you can make a ton of these you can hand them out as gifts You can give them to all your friends you can make 11 for my 11 days of Christmas tutorials So thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all my social media which is all linked below I will see you guys in my 10th day of Christmas tomorrow. Bye guys.